families continue to, well, quarantine, stay together. They're, stay, they're spending so much more time at home. Board games have seen a huge rise in popularity as they offer a fun solution during isolating times. That's right. Lifestyle and parenting expert Amanda Mushro is here to showcase some of the latest screen-free board games that will keep you entertained and connected with the family. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. It's our pleasure, and we love the fact that these are screen free because we both have children who lose their face in that screen <laughs> often. <laughs> so, the, right. How can they ever have fun if there isn't a screen right, a, right in their eyeballs, it right? It feels that way. It feels that way sometimes. And I love games, that, but I still love games that are education based, you know, stuff that's going to be fun but can help them, say, mm -hmm. with their memory, like that flip over frog game. Right, so Flip Over Frog is such a fun game. It's ages six and up, perfect for the entire family. It's a memory with a little bit of strategy. What you do is you lay out the board game and you're going to have to take your frog and you place it on the board and then you're going to be flipping over the other players frogs up and down and then you want to avoid the snakes. It is a super cute colorful game. What I love about this is that it's easy to set up, easy to clean up <laughs> and it comes in this nice small box so I like the idea that you can play it just about anywhere. Put it on the the kitchen table you can play it on the floor it takes just a few minutes to learn but it's definitely a fun game for the whole family i love that and mm -hmm. i love the fact that the colors are really going to draw all ages in to play with that as well all right what else do you have uh, let's say a lot of people are actually starting to get together a little bit more welcoming more people into their household kind of uh when it comes to maybe grandmas and grandpas and that sort of thing so anything that's kind of intergenerational yeah, I love games that everybody, all ages can play. This is called What's Wrong with Grown Ups? And I feel like, isn't this a question that we all ask? <laughs> so this is a really fun card game. It has over 500 cards full of different questions. Now, you can play the game the way that you're supposed to, where you roll the dice, you pull the card, you ask the question. It has really sort of thought-provoking questions, but also fun questions. Like, what are your favorite qualities about yourself? Or when do you think it's an okay age to date? I mean, I think that this is a game that you could play with big kids, adults, if you're having people over, if you're Zooming or FaceTiming with family. I love any game that gets everybody sort of talking. You could even just play it around the kitchen table dinner. Dinner. I love Absolutely. these things. Mm -hmm. uh, I like strategy games, like Stratego, those old school. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm dating myself here because that's such yeah, an old game, that but yeah. I've already played Stratego <laughs> with my with my 10-year-old. But uh, any other strategy games out there that we might want to check out? So if you like strategy games, this is one that you're going to like. This is called Strut Sagata. And the idea is that you are a skilled artisan who has been commissioned to design a stained glass window. But guess what? So have other artists. So you are playing against everybody else and you're playing against yourself so you have to manage your tools and your supplies you're playing with these different colored dice to make the stained glass window so this is great for people who love puzzles puzzle games the games that you really need to put your thinking cap on this is definitely a fun one for the whole family wonderful am i saying that you have something to do with an escape room okay if you love escape rooms or if you're like me and you're like absolutely not i'm not going to lock myself in a room <laughs> check out exit the game this is how you can have an escape room in your house and the idea is that it has different scenarios each different version of exit has a different scenario you have to follow puzzles and riddles to get yourself out of the uh, lock situation. Each one gives you a clue so that you can get to freedom. This is such a fun game. My kiddos play this with their cousins. I really like that it has the novice to more advanced. So as you choose a different scenario, you can choose the easier versions for younger kids and then get a lot more advanced. So throw your own uh, escape party in your house without actually having to lock anybody in a room. <laughs> I, I'm an escape room junkie, so that's, that's gonna be for me for sure. I wanna check that out. But what about date night? Is there anything for the couples? All right, so for date night, if you love a good romantic comedy like I do, you have to check out Fog of Love. It is a romantic comedy board game. So the idea is that you take, you create two characters and just 
like in a romantic comedy, you have to pick out they're going to fall in love. And then throughout the game, they get put into ridiculous and hilarious situations that come straight out of a romantic comedy. And then by the end of the game, we find out if our couple stays together and lives happily ever after, or if they break up. So it is a storytelling game, it's so fun. Like what a fun date night. I mean, if we put a movie on, to watch for date night, I'm asleep in five minutes. So this is actually something I'll stay up for. Excellent. Love it. So many great ideas. All, every single one of them. I mean, those are yeah. all really super intriguing. You want to follow Amanda for more on this, go to amandamushro.com. That's M-U-S-H-R-O. We have the website. We'll have it on fox17morningmix.com as well. Plus, you can go to questionablechoicesinparenting.com, <laughs> which is a phenomenal website name, by the way, Amanda. Absolutely. Questionablechoicesinparenting.com. Thank you so much for the time.